All right now we're going to learn about compound subjects and compound predicates or otherwise known as compound verbs. Verbs. This is compound subjects and compound predicates or verbs. All right. Uh, compound means two things being put in to together to make one or actually they don't become one but it's just two parts being put together. A compound sentence is two complete sentences that are made as one sentence together with something joining them, usually a, a, con a connector word like a conjunction. And so we're going to take a look at some sentences and learn what compound subjects, compound predicates are. Let's look at first uh, number one. Compound Okay, Carmen and her aunt skated at the pond after school. This sentence has the subject of Carmen and her aunt. And this is a compound subject because we have two different subjects being talked about here. Carmen and her aunt. What did they do? They skated at the pond after school. Now, skated at the pond after school is not a compound predicate. So this sentence only has a compound subject. All right, number two, Iris and Phil took a train to Chicago. Uh, Iris and Phil is the subject, took a train to Chicago, the predicate. We do have a compound subject here, Iris and Phil, two different people that are doing the action of the sentence. The pattern of every snowflake is unique. This sentence does not have a compound subject. It does not have a compound predicate. The pattern of every snowflake is the subject. It's telling us that it is unique. Notice in the subject here, there's not two things being talked about. It's the pattern that's being talked about, not two different things joined together by the word and or the word or. Uh, and then the predicate is unique. There's not two different actions going on or two different verbs. Number four, during the Renaissance, Italian women shaved the front part of their heads and kept the rest of their hair long. Okay, we, ha we start off with a prepositional phrase, and then we have the subject of the sentence, Italian women. The predicate is shaved the front part of their heads and kept the rest of their hair long. Okay, let's put two lines under that, because that's the predicate of the sentence. Uh, and this does not have a compound subject. It's only Italian women that are doing this action. But they are doing two different actions. So we do have a compound predicate. Shaved the front part of their heads and kept the rest of their hair long. You see the Italian women are doing two different things in this sentence, two different actions. So this is a compound predicate known as either one of those. Frederico and Garth rode over the island last summer. All right, the subject of the sentence, Frederico and Garth, what did they do? They rode over to the island last summer. And it's being weird here, okay. Uh, the subject of the sentence is a compound sub, does have a compound subject because it's two different people that are doing this action of rowing over to the island. So this is a compound subject. Hmm, okay. Well, Emily Dickinson published very few poems in her lifetime. Emily Dickinson uh, is the subject. What is she doing? She published very few poems in her lifetime. That's the predicate. Only one subject to the sentence. She's only doing one thing. She's just publishing. So this does not have a complete, uh, a compound subject or a compound predicate. What I'm going to do from this point forward is only mark either the compound subjects or the compound predicates. I'm not going to mark the complete subject and the complete predicate because that's what I'm going to be asking you to do on your assignment for this. After the harvest, the workers and their families have a dance and play music in the barn. Okay, we only have one subject, the workers and, oh, excuse me, we don't, the workers and their families. So we have a compound subject, workers and their families, and then we have two predicates as well, have a dance and play music. Okay, so we have two, my pen's being really weird here, okay. Two predicates, uh, or a compound predicate, two verbs, they have and they play. 
compound subject, and compound predicate. All right, let's go to number eight. So this is how you'd mark this one because it has uh, a compound subject and it has a compound predicate. Uh, cats takes place in a junkyard. We have one subject, cats. It's only doing one thing, takes. And so there's no compound subject or compound predicate for that one. All right, I want you to pause the video. I want you to try numbers 9 down through, uh, oh, 19 or 20, if you can see number 20 down there at the bottom. And then turn the video back on to see the solutions. All right, here we go. Uh, number 9, the well-known musical is based on T.S. Eliot's poems. There is no compound subject or compound predicate for that. One thing happening, uh, done by one thing. So Jupiter, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune have rings. This has a compound subject right here. In fact, there are four different things in this subject. You can have more than two. You can have as many as you want, really. In this case, we have four. Uh, the next is uh, Christina played the, the guitar and sang songs from Chile. Christina did two things in the sentence. She played, that's a compound predicate, and she sang. Two different things makes a compound predicate. Leaves and branches lay beneath the trees in our front yard and block the driveway. This has both a compound subject, leaves and branches, and a compound predicate. They lay and they blocked. Jill and Erica campaigned energetically and raised the needed funds. This one has a compound subject, Jill and Erica, and a compound predicate. They campaigned and they raised. All right, number 14, my favorite snack is a sandwich and milk. This is not a compound subject or a compound predicate. You might have gotten faked out by sandwich and milk, but the sentence is not about sandwich and milk. The subject of the sentence is my favorite snack. And so this is not a compound subject. Number 15, Jordan should wash the dishes and put them away. This ha does have a compound predicate, washing and putting something away. Compound predicate. Number 16, Lupe raked the leaves in the backyard. One subject, Lupe, only doing one thing, raking. So that does not have a, comp a compound subject or a compound predicate. Number 17, we congratulated Rosa on her achievement. Nothing there, no compound subject or compound predicate. Number 18, I read the draft of the paper and did a thorough revision. Uh, one subject, I, me, doing these watching. 